All right, guys, me and my friend Marta, we're gonna go and it is right now, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. We're about to head driving to Malibu and we're gonna go to Malibu just for a burrito. Apparently it's one of the best burritos in LA though, so that's gonna be pretty sick. Uh, then I thought on the way back, you know, back to Hollywood, we would just do a, uh, hold on, I'm across the street. We would just do a how I thrift, where I thrift at, and what I look for kind of thing, I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna stop by a bunch of different, uh, I say a bunch, we'll stop by a few different Goodwills and assorted thrift stores here in LA, and then go from there, yeah, so, uh, I'll catch you when we get to Marta's. P.S. The reason why I'm not super energetic is because I haven't had my first coffee yet. Is it on? It's on. Hi YouTube! It's me, not Skinner Jones, and today for this video vlog, I am going to tell you my favorite burrito spot in Los Angeles! Okay, I'm done. Turn it off. So today we're actually going to go, we're actually driving to Malibu as we speak uh, because Marta's favorite burrito spots in Malibu and she said that it'll be the best burrito I've ever had. Probably on the way we're going to stop by a few thrift stores, uh, maybe some Goodwills. I'm kind of going to show you what I look for in thrifting and uh, yeah, so we'll see what's going to happen. On to burritos. I think Dan got the Alcox store last time. What are you expecting from this burrito? Are you expecting to be blown away? So What's the best burrito you've had so thus far? The best burrito I've had so far. Uh, it used to be this little burrito shop on the way to Nashville. Other than that, I haven't had a burrito in a long time. So I don't know what to expect anymore because I was going to order the beef one, but he ended up ordering for me. So. Well, my cousin had the carne asada one here I last time. I think that's what I got. I think that's what I got. Or no, no, he got the El Pastor. Yeah, but the I... thing what makes this burrito is the sauce that they give you. It's very spicy and you have to put it on. All right. Well then, I'm expecting uh, I'm expecting glory. Are you expecting it to be better than Nashville's burrito or no? Oh yeah, 100%. The Nashville's best burrito better. you've had <laughs> is in Nashville, then the so, standard is not that high. I, for... think, uh, I think that we're in, we're in good shape to be uh, pleasantly surprised. All right guys, so Marta talked a big game about this burrito, so we're about to see if it's actually, if it's actually any good. Hey, I hopefully the they weren't sitting so long. Did they include the sauce? I, I told them to get the hot sauce. Oh no, it's right here. Look. Because they asked. Look, there it is. Oof. All right. Yeah, this yours is so much Didn't you get a large? No, I got a med. Oh, all right, guys. All Jeez, she's, she's thick. I don't have to be in You're in it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Are you doing this for the video or are you serious? 100%. Yeah. Guys, this is it. She was right, guys. This is the one. Lily's Malibu. Lily's? Alright guys, I'm gonna chow down and then we'll see what's going on next. So I just scarfed down that burrito and now it's time for more coffee. Hello, how are you? Do you have oat milk by chance? Can I do an oat milk latte, please, ice? Nothing. Nothing at all. Perfect. What's your name? Skinner. Please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, oh, no worries. Have a good day. Anyways, guys, realistic rating, like an eight. I think it's an eight. Wow, uh, look, it's all foggy. It's fine. It's probably fog and mixed with smoke. But yeah, all in all, a good burrito. So now, guys, we're gonna drop around and just chill out for a second, and then we're gonna pop off to thrift stores.
All right guys, so now we made it to the beach. You know, just kind of exploring and then turn around. Super foggy still. But yeah, so we're just like venturing around. Update, already hungry again and uh, yeah. I'll tell you what guys, I love the beach. I think you just got a bird in your video. Got a bunch of birds in my video. The beach is one of my favorite places in the world. It doesn't matter what beach it is, but don't get me wrong, I do prefer tropical more, like uh, like southern Florida beaches. I just thought, I don't know, something about those. But California does have amazing beaches, and uh, I am super thankful to be able to be here. I hope you guys can hear this, first of all. I may need to talk louder, but uh, man, I love the beach. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I was waiting for it. Definitely need a haircut, especially noticing after all this wind in the beach. Marta, look what I found! And that's a wrap for the ocean, at least for now. I could be here all day, I think. I'm just moving to the beach, gonna live in my car. It's gonna be good. Wi-Fi, who needs it? Showers? Who needs it? Who needs it? Marta, who needs it? Showers and Wi-Fi. Um, I think it's I, I agree. I agree, guys. Spooky! Guys, he's got a Hemi sticker on his Prius. Poppy Theo. <laughs> All right guys, we're at the first one that I usually go to, or the first type of place I usually go to, which is like a Goodwill. Really simple, but you can always find gold here for like six bucks, so it's always totally worth it. So we'll see what we can find in here, and then we'll probably head to a couple more, at least one or two more, to just see if we can find anything else. All right guys, this one's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, so there's not near as much things as I'd like to find. Uh, but we're still gonna hunt through a little bit more and see if we can spot anything. If not, we'll just go to the next one. So hopefully we can find something, but uh, no promises. Right, guys, we're over at these jackets. Maybe there's something cool over here. Okay. It's, and it's not essentials, but it's a really nice cold hoodie. Oh, yeah, it's nice. And then, just yeah, a, that's great. I love that. It's a fun tea. It's good, good color. Did you even get my face in any of those? That video, bro. Oh my god, my favorite movie. Is that a TV show? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know any of these. It's got James Franco. The best Charlie in the traffic factory. Agreed. Agreed. I don't know why that one is the best. No, I think the Johnny Depp one's better, personally. I'm so good at finding leather jackets, guys. So good. Let me see. I wish you didn't have that purse on. Oh, that's purse. I need that. Alright, guys. Talk to answer. More money. More spending. All right guys, so the dummy I am did not bring a second battery and my battery's about to die. So we're gonna do a quick uh, last thrift look around at one of my favorite stores at Crossroads in Hollywood, or West Hollywood, I guess. And then hopefully my camera doesn't die before I get the footage. Then we'll probably go home and charge it and then finish out this video. All right, so my camera died. But I get some cool pieces, including this shirt. Look, it's a simple shirt. And so, big find today though, if anybody's fans of boots, like quality boots, well, let's just, let's go and say this first. One thing you guys will learn about me is that I'm big on quality. It doesn't matter if it's a name brand, but that is my main priority, it's just that it's high quality. So I found these boots, they are by The Boot New York, 
and they're pretty sick. They can be dressed more of a casual or like a dapper, classy type look. Reason why I do thrift stores, the reason why. So these boots are in great shape, great shape. You see they're not worn out at the bottom. I paid $42 for these boots. If you go to the website and you look up how much these boots cost, the cheapest you can get these for is $450. And no, it's not about how much money it is, but what it is about is a quality product. I can guarantee that I can buy these boots and the worst thing that can happen to them is me wear them so much that they start wearing out. But realistically, as much as I wear boots, these will last me the rest of my life. And I'm about that, I'm about that. My desk, this desk chair, and plus I'm just a vintage guy. I like vintage style, vintage vibes. But yeah, super sick, super sick. As well as those boots, I also got some other cool pieces. So these are Uniqlo. They're just a, um, guys, you'll learn. I'm not the biggest fashion guy. Like I just like, I just like cool clothes. But basically they're kind of like a, uh, a chino with that center crease going in the middle of each pant leg. They are a short chino. So it's especially good for like the boots you just bought. It allows you to show them off. It allows you to wear some cool design socks. Not that I really do that, but I bought this button up right here I bought this button up I think we should probably show them off so all right so I bought this button up right here see what's great about shirts like this one is this is very light so it's not too bad in the summer another thing to think about with shirts like this I can wear it multiple different ways I can button it up I can wear it under a blazer I can button it down I can roll up the sleeves I can be more casual I can put like a uh, like a graphic tee under this and then wear some cool shorts and some converse so that's like one of my main things with shirts like this is that I really you know you have so much control of how you're gonna wear it I also got this is a Amazon essential and this is great no issues this is, this is nice so another thing I got as well a leather jacket casual but also a little bit of edge to it, a little bit of uh, grunge for lack of a better term. And you know you wear some brighter pants with this or you wear some jeans with this and some a nice pair of boots like the ones I bought. And then we've got we've got a nice little thing going on here. You know you can take this out to a dance. You know and if I really want to get real casual throw some blue jeans on, throw an old pair of boots on, put a hat on. You know, it, it, there's just, what I like about clothes is opportunity. What I mean by that is like my everyday shoe. I wear these shoes all the time. What I mean by everyday opportunity is I can throw these on with anything. You know, and I, that, look, I'm just now getting into like actual sneaker game to where like I'm, I'm buying like cool sneakers, like stuff that, stuff that, you know, you can't wear with everything. And that's great and all, but there's something about being able to easily throw your stuff together and look nice. And that's what I'm about. And just to give you guys an idea, I'm going to put those pants on. And obviously, I don't think this is the shirt I would go with with these pants. But just to give you guys an, an idea of like the thought process. So I'm going to like move out of frame and get naked. All right, guys. So what you can see, these pants fit very nicely. They are very formal, but also you can add a pair of Jordans or some sneakers that match a t-shirt. I could even go as far as a blazer and some dress shoes. You know, there's just so many different ways you can accessorize. And so I'm really big about that. I like to make it easy. I like to make it easy on myself. I don't want to have to go crazy. I don't want to have to, you know, really put much effort into it. But yeah, you guys, so I definitely wanted to film a lot more of this, this whole thing just so it made more sense to you guys. But unfortunately, because of my camera dying, uh, I just ordered a battery, by the way. We don't have to worry about that again. But for now, guys, I am going to find out where I'm going to go get some dinner, and we'll start from there. I, I'm not exactly trying to be a fashion blogger. I love fashion. I love finding new ways to dress cool and things like that. But I don't want to just be like, this is all that, that there is. I want to just kind of make it into we have an agenda each day, and we do whatever. We just make it exciting or whatever. I don't know how this video turned out yet, and we'll talk about more, more of that about the end of the video. But for now, let's get some food, and we'll go from there. Guys, look at this so mint M3. Jesus, so mint. Love it. This thing is so clean. Oof. Hello. How are you? All right, guys, so perfect timing. I went and grabbed my food. Just realized that I left my keys in my house and my door is now locked. Can't get in the front door either. So that's that. My dream car in the background. Barely see it. But no, but as I was saying, uh, I left to go get food and realized I'm just now on my way back that I left my key in my house. It is now locked and I have no way to get in. So I texted my apartment manager, but he has not responded. So I'm in a pickle. I don't know how I'm gonna get back inside, but I guess a key works. 
But so I guess I'm gonna wait for him to respond out in the front of the, my building until I can get in. Might have to eat outside. Alright guys, so yeah, I locked myself out of my apartment and I'm waiting for the property manager to reply to my text. So I'm just gonna be chilling out here on the patio until then. Uh, you know, but guys, it could be worse. I mean, at least I was able to pick up my food. Like, ooh, look at that. So you know, we're not doing too bad, but hey, we'll eat, we'll chill, we'll scroll through Instagram until I get a reply. So yeah. Alright, chow down. I have nothing else to do. All right, guys, made it in. It literally took an hour and a half, but I made it in. Uh, it wasn't terrible, though, because I managed to get onto the, the deck and just chill out there for an hour and a half waiting for them. But hey, it wasn't bad. I, I can't complain. I had my food. I was able to eat outside, enjoy myself. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I'll tell you what, guys, I really had an amazing day. Um, Malibu was just so gorgeous this morning. I really need to do things like that more. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it on my Instagram story. It was just a really pretty day. But uh, yeah, it was super cool. And um, I hope I give you guys a little bit insight it wasn't as like planned out as I'd like but anyways guys um, I really had a great day um, gosh I forget how much I love Malibu and it's even better because I love cars and I saw so many beautiful vintage cars today and uh, so many people with beautiful watches on and it's just motivation but I hope you guys did like this video may hopefully I uh, managed to uh, get it looking semi good with what footage I got but I'm probably gonna call it here guys again thank you so much for watching and uh, please if you do like what you're seeing subscribe I promise it's gonna get better from here uh, but yeah guys peace out and uh, yeah